Hey, what's going on weavers? Tim here again, and there are many ways to make paracord zipper pulls. But here's something a little different, and I'd say a little bit more professional looking. Now I've got this cool little light from Nightcore here, and I'll be tying a lanyard on it for our example. And then I've got some heat shrink tubing. It can come in different colors and different sizes. This stuff has a lot of uses, but it is mainly used for wiring and electronics. And I'm gonna cut a small section of it. And then of course I've got some paracord. So with my paracord, I'm going to feed it through the lanyard hole of the flashlight. If you're making a zipper pull, you can pull the cord through the zipper or leave a long enough loop so you can use a cow hitch to hitch it onto your zipper pull. After that, we can now feed our paracord through the piece of heat shrink tubing and pull the piece towards the flashlight. And now from here, we are spoiled for choice. You can tie just about any lanyard knot you want, but I'll give you a few examples. Let's first try tying some snake knots. Holding my cords in between my index and thumb of my offhand, I'm going to grab the upper cord, form a loop around the bottom cord, then take the opposite cord, wrap it over and around the top, and then through the first loop formed. Pull tight and we've tied our snake knot. And from there, you can repeat the process a couple more times. You can tie as many snake knots as you wish, but I suggest at least two though. And after you've tied the snake knots, you can snip and melt the ends. But if you don't like the snake knot, how about the double snake knot? You're going to tie the first snake knot like before, same exact steps. Then from there, simply double up the cords. On the first side, wrap the cord through the opposite loop for a second pass. Then flip it over and do the same on the other side for a second pass through both loops. Cinch up and tighten and we have a double snake knot. Snip and melt the ends from here. And lastly, the knot that trips everyone up, the diamond knot. I'm going to place the running ends through my index, middle and ring fingers like this. And then with the right strand, I'm going to make an overhand loop and lay it over the left strand. The left strand then goes to the right and under the opposite strand. Then have it go under its own standing end that is in the middle of the loop. We've now formed our Carex bend. From here, the right strand goes counterclockwise past the opposite standing end and then through the opening in the middle from the back to the front. The left strand goes counterclockwise past the opposite standing end and then through the opening in the middle from the back to the front. Gather both ends and pull the knot shut and cinch it up. Now it may be far from where you need it to be, so you can adjust the position of the knot by pulling the slack through the knot. If you need a clearer video of this knot and the process, I'll have it linked in the video and in the description box below. From there, you can snip and melt the ends if this is to your liking. Now to finish this up, we can shrink the tubing. Now, to be absolutely honest, the lanyard or zipper pull looks quite fine just like this. You don't have to shrink the tubing and it'll work just the same. It's up to you how you want it to look. Now to shrink the tubing, however, I'm going to take my lighter and then very carefully heat up the tubing. So I'm moving my lighter back and forth as to not melt the tubing and also be careful when shrinking the areas near the paracord. You definitely don't want to melt the paracord. but I would actually suggest a hairdryer or heat gun to shrink the tubing as it's a lot more even and cleaner. So if you have a heat gun or perhaps even a hairdryer set on high, you can use that to shrink the tubing. And with that done, we have our paracord heat shrink lanyard. Now I actually think these look and work a bit better as a zipper pull. As a lanyard, it's a bit stiff, but you can always lengthen the paracord or shorten the tubing to your liking. So that's all I have for you today and hope you all found this video useful and maybe even entertaining. I want to thank you all for watching and a huge thank you to all my current Patreon supporters for making videos like this possible. If you want access to exclusive content and the Weavers of Eternity Discord and want to support the channel directly, please feel free to check out my Patreon page. You can join for as little as $3 a month. You can also support the channel by liking the video, commenting, and subscribing. If you enjoyed the content here, please feel free to check out what I have to offer on the rest of my channel.